Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So about a month ago, I posted a video letting you know that if you are using Microsoft Weather, be that the online version or the weather app for Windows 10 and Windows 11, that Microsoft had rolled out quite a significant update that added new Fluent design features and a couple of extra other little tweaks and adjustments were made available uh, in MSN Weather. And I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, it does seem that over the last while, Microsoft has been focusing quite a lot on MSN Weather, where a day or so ago, they have now announced that MSN Weather has introduced a new system that identifies unusual weather trends in your area and notifies you if they are significant. Now, this new system, according to Microsoft, is called the Climate Insights Engine. And how the Climate Insights Engine works is they say it leverages up to 70 years of detailed historical weather data to track things like the temperature, precipitation, humidity, and wind across the globe. And this engine, they say, compares your local weather to historical trends to determine how unusual recent weather has been. So when something out of the ordinary happens, the system will notify you to keep you informed about your local climate. Now, Microsoft gives us three examples of how these notifications will work. So the first example is, they say, an example of this would be, this month's temperatures are 4.5 degrees lower than normal for your location. Another example would be, it's been 35 days since there has been measurable precipitation at your location. This is the second longest streak ever recorded. And then the third example is something called the Trend Buster, which basically what it does is it predicts if your current local weather trend will finally end. And that's all part of the new Climate Insights Engine, which Microsoft says empowers you to see monthly and yearly records as well as tracking recent weather trends for your location. And I just wanted to put it out there. because I do know some of you do use MSN Weather and are using the online version or the app that's found in both Windows 10 and Windows 11. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.